So you guys, I want to bring out this video on Mikey Williams just because I have a lot of things that I want to talk about dealing with Mikey and also give y'all some real spill on what's been going on lately. So we all know recently, Mikey has not been active on his social media due to his court situation being postponed for the third time, which is now set on October the 10th. And on top of that, he also still has been making very poor decisions lately as well, if y'all didn't know. Now, honestly, in my opinion, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. I'm more than fed up with Mikey because he just be thinking he can do whatever he want just because of who he is. And it's really getting mad annoying to me because something in bro's head is not clicking as in he don't think things through at all. All he do is act off his emotions which is really a female trait for real. But to be honest, this ain't nothing new. Because Mikey always been acting like this for a long time. And I really start to first notice it heavy when he started to fall off with Deja Kelly a couple years ago because that's when I used to make a lot of videos talking about their relationship, basically giving my opinion on everything. And that's why I just kept going as in making more videos on Mikey, because I realized some of his fans actually really liked when I made videos talking about some personal things, because they were literally sending me everything for me to make a video on it. Which of course I didn't have a problem doing it, because why not? At the end of the day, this is all strictly entertainment and we just having fun. But the thing is, when other people see you having fun, they love to try to take that fun away from you, because of their hate, envy, and jealousy. Including Mikey himself as well, because I had a few conversations with him in the past on the ground, and he know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to explain the messages or anything, all you guys have to do is watch my previous videos. And it's just so funny, because until this day, Mikey still be hating, just like all these other people out here for no reason, when all I did was support bro so he could have the right mindset, as in possibly making it to the league in the future. But one thing that I realized and learned is that some people just don't deserve your support because all they're going to do is take advantage of you. And that goes for friendships and relationships because a lot of people out here are just not good people at all. And it's honestly getting to a point where they can't even fake it no more. Because when you put the light on them, they just going to run away or burn like a vampire. And speaking of running away, I remember when I pulled up to one of Mikey's games around his junior year in high school and he was playing for this AAU team called We All Can Go. And it's just so funny because Mikey always tries to portray himself as a tough guy on social media, right? But the thing is, when he saw me, he literally was hiding behind all his teammates while being all the way to the back of the wall. And you can also see one of his other teammates, Jalen, looking straight at me as well, then quickly looked away. So that's when I honestly knew Mikey do just be scary for real. And we all know his recent situation that happened back in March, which led him to get arrested. And it's just so funny because even though I was given the information on what supposedly happened that night, it does make sense on why he did on what he did because he really do be scary and he always act off his emotions like I said earlier. And I know y'all seen his latest post he made with him basically taunting an officer as well as put it in the caption, I really don't care at all. Like how dumb can you be? Knowing that you dealing with a court situation with you possibly facing 20 plus years in prison and you going to turn around and make that retarded post just to prove a point that no one cares about? At the end of the day, don't forget, you going to be the one facing that judge and he's going to determine on what your future is. So this just proves that Mikey just don't think at all. All he do is just keep digging himself in a deeper hole, which he eventually won't even be able to get out of. And there's actually so much more that I want to speak on because as you can see, JJ Taylor was with him and already made multiple videos talking about on how I felt about their friendship. But when things really do hit the wall, let's see on how everything is going to play out since y'all both think y'all so savage. And even for their teammate Javon Crinley, I'm going to make a whole nother video exposing him since he want to hate as well. Talking about the days of sitting on content is coming to an end. Like what? Yeah, I saw what you put in your bio and I'm going to save my opinions on that one for another video because you're going to feel me for sure for that one. Definitely after supporting you all this time. Honestly, y'all just really ungrateful and haters for real, but it's all good. Keep showing y'all true colors because I love it. One thing y'all don't know about me is that I does this and I'm built for this. It's literally that plain and simple. And it's even more funny because we all know Mikey is supposedly a God lover, right? Because as you can see, he got in his bio, love God. But check this out. He claims that he loves God, but goes to put nothing matters in his bio as well with the middle finger. And he also be hating on his brothers as well. 
Last time I checked, when you read John 4.20 in the Bible, it says, If anyone says I love God but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. So as you can see, after reading that verse, guess what? Mikey is a straight up liar. So I honestly don't even need to speak much on this because I've been seeing his true colors a long time ago. I was just ignoring it because I knew a lot of kids looked up to him. That's why I kept making videos supporting him. But now he starts to mislead the youth and you know I ain't going for that at all. You will get exposed my boy. Simple. And bruh is honestly just so hilarious. Just because he got all these followers don't mean anything. I look at Mikey as a little kid for real. He might be y'all hero or whatever, but he is literally a child to me. Everything he do, I just be laughing while he be so mad. Like, calm down, young fella. It will be okay. And I didn't even speak on him and his girl Jocelyn yet. She already has been showing a lot of signs lately, and that's probably why Mikey be so mad for real. Because at the end of the day, she know exactly what a real one looks like. Let's get serious, bro. She know exactly on what she likes and Mikey just thinking he winning, but he clearly is not because he can't see things how I see things. Like I said, Mikey is a child to me. Just look at him. With them Ronald McDonald shoes on. Bro, got the tightest jeans on while wearing size 15 shoes. Boy, if you don't take yourself back to the circus and get on their shoes back, you already took one of their puppets. As you can see, him and Jocelyn took a picture with it. Bro, Mikey, the circus is looking for you. They want they drip back, my guy. Look at you. Y'all make me laugh for real, like seriously, I just be dying laughing, definitely after hearing Jocelyn say cookies, bro, I couldn't stop laughing, every time I hear her say cookies, I just drop to the floor and just start busting out laughing, yo, like y'all are really comedy, y'all need y'all own show produced by your very own TK Wallace, you know I'ma make it lit for real, but yeah you guys, I just wanted to bring y'all this video and just speak on how I've been feeling lately, because Mikey just been trying me. And I always let it slide because I always supported him, which I still do. I have nothing but love for Mikey, even though he probably don't like me at all, which is fine. A lot of people don't like me, and I honestly don't care because they ain't going to do nothing about it. I stand on business, and it's forever going to be like that. You feel me? I'm from the A, and I carry my own weight since a young jit, and I'm only 25 years old. But they don't like to see a young, good-looking, intelligent black man like me to win. They just want to bring me down, and it's been like that all my life. So yeah, I would say leave your comments and opinions below, but I have decided to just turn off my comments because if y'all don't know, some people are messing with my YouTube channel as in messing with my views and subscribers. And it's really lame, but that's exactly what haters do when you're doing something right in this world. But it's all good. I'm going to keep pushing and keep doing what I love to do. It just now is going to be unapologetically and it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm done with all of that because these people be trying me for real and I really like that in real life. But I honestly don't even got to speak on that. And before I even end this video, I heard Mikey is enrolled in school and also is on the Memphis roster. So good for him. At the end of the day, I'm still going to support because I'm not fake. I support all my brothers. I don't care how you feel about me. I have no hate towards nobody. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T-Game, we out.